Hey guys, welcome back. Um, real quick, before we dive into this isn't where we left off, I know, I know. I just wanted to say real quick, I'm trying something new here. Well, it's not really new, I've been doing it for a little bit, but I want to say it out loud so I have like some accountability. Uh, I'm trying to have an actual upload schedule. <laughs> so, uh, videos should be coming out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday now. Look forward to that. Anyway, I went ahead and just jumped back to the branching point uh, here in the AB game. We're going to actually betray Alice. And see where that leads. Um, also, get fucked, loser. Hate your guts. Uh, I th I did a, I did a little bit more. Jeez, I'm so scatterbrained. I had so much I wanted to talk about, and I was like, I've got it all laid out in my mind. And I press record, and then it's just like, uh, uh, uh. Uh, I believe the plan that I decided on is I'm going to just go as far as I can down a path until I had a lock like this. Well, well, not like that, but like here, right? And then we just work our way backwards to the last branching point and kind of like go as far as we can down there. So if we end up like, I don't know, here, then we'll go to this branching point. You see what I mean? And just kind of keep working our way that in that kind of sense. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, almost time to choose to betray Alice. If you aren't going to do it, then I. No, I'm, I'm fine. I'll do it. You're going to choose betray, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Don't worry about it. All right. Take it away. 30 seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. I stood in front of the selection screen and took a deep breath. This was it. I ran over my options one last time. There was only one possible choice. Betray. I can't wait to... <laughs> I can't wait now when I leave, they're gonna be like, you betrayed Round us! Of the Ambidex game has been completed. How could you, Sigma, you piece of shit? You're a traitor! I know it's coming. I know it's coming! Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. Come on, just get it over with. Just fuck me, all right? Like, come on, just do it. I know you want to, game. As Fi and I stepped out of the AB rooms, I could see the others running toward the projection, shoving and pushing to get closer. Well, you chose what I wanted you to choose. Damn right I did, because I've learned that being nice doesn't pay off. I guess I should say thanks. Why are you so... Look. Why are you so excited about this? <laughs> just give me the, like, the, the cheery fucking... It, like this is this is the slice of life anime moment where it, like it, it goes to like sepia tone It's outside after school the sun's setting. You see what I mean? That's this pose. What the fuck's going on here? Fight I chose to betray someone <laughs> you don't need to give me this stick. So uh, Thanks stop being so weird. <laughs> Just like why are you gonna make a big deal out of it? Oh, come on You don't need to do that I just made the obvious choice. Obvious? Well, I'm sure Alice chose Betray. That meant we pretty much had to choose Betray, right? How do you know what she's going to choose? <laughs> I I guess you could say I, I just know. Oh, is this inch I wonder if I had chosen Betray first, would this be different dialogue? There's no way, right? There's no way. If that's true, this game is actually next fucking level. If that if that is unique dialogue that he knows she's gonna pick Betray because of what happened in the other path, that'd be incredible. That'd be so cool. And then I'd be like, but what I missed out on the dialogue of if I didn't know. I gotta start the whole damn game over to find out. Are you making fun of me? Maybe. Yo, what's up? What's up? Ziggy! Oh no! Hey, what are you kids doing over there? We're having a we're having a heart to heart zero the third. Fuck off. Let me let me have my moment. We're about to announce the results. Let's go. We'll find out if you made the right choice. <laughs> Alright. Good, good, good. <laughs> Looks like you're all here. Finally. Let's get ready to rock! Ambidex game! Round one! The results! If everybody would please direct their eyes to this monitor. Oh. Oh. oh I forgot about this. Hmm. 
Okay, so that's the same. That's the same. <laughs> hey, get fucked, loser. <laughs> Dumbass. Oh, get absolutely dunked on. <laughs> I feel no remorse. None. None whatsoever. Fuck you and everything you stand for. Because I'm not about to take the actual beating I'm about to. The verbal beating. How dare you betray me, you piece of garbage. Here are the results from your game. Now, let us check the numbers on our bracelets. Ooh, looks like I'm at a little six now. A little close to dying there, aren't you, Alice? Mmm, shame. Real shame, brother. <laughs> yeah, stay mad. Stay mad. Hey, Alice. What the hell is this? What? You chose betray last time. Oh, that is, yo, that's so fucking cool. Surely that's what's happening here, right? Like, is it actually reacting to I went down the other path? That's so cool if it is. So I, I, I chose betray two no why wait a minute last time what on earth are you talking about um c can you tell me one thing what when exactly did you press the button five minutes before the deadline there's that announcement right i pressed it right after that why what? No, that can't... What was going on? When Fi and I chose ally, Alice picked Betray. What the... Bro, what if I had done it in a different order? What if I... What's it, what if I... Would the dialogue be different? No, that's gonna drive me insane. You don't understand. I need to know what they say. If I choose Betray first. Before ally, I need to know. Because I want to be on the other side where I was like, you picked ally last time. I, I need to know, deep in my bones. Oh. I just made the most rational choice. What the fuck, dude? You can't do this to me. I'm gonna lose my mind. The best way to minimize risk and maximize reward in this situation is to choose betray. Anyone who thinks otherwise is, well, an idiot. But this time I chose Betray and Hervo changed to Ally. Why? What was different? Had history somehow changed because of my choice? No, th that was insane. If Alice had somehow known that I had chosen Betray and chose an ally in response, at least that would have followed the principle of cause and effect. But what had just happened was something entirely different. There was no way Alice could have known what we would choose when she made her decision. Besides, if she had known we intended to betray her, there's no way she would have chosen ally. In other words, she must have made her decision without any knowledge of ours. Let's say we're talking about a game of rock, paper, scissors. You don't need to break this down so much for me. I get it. I throw out a rock. Right after that, Alice throws down paper. Obviously, I lose. So, I go back in time and decide to whip out the scissors this time. This time, Alice chooses rock. I lose again. But that's fine, because it still makes sense. My actions in the past cause Alice's actions in the future. Easy. But what had just happened in the AB game wasn't like that. Let's go back to that innocent game of rock, paper, and scissors. This time, Alice is the one who threw out her hand first. But in this situation, there's no way for me to know what it is. So I decide to go with Rock. Now Alice's choice is revealed. Turns out she went with... Paper. Damn it, I lose and I'm pissed off. So once again, I go back in time to try and change history and erase my loss. What will I choose this time? That's not even a question. Scissors, obviously. After all, last time Alice went with paper. Here's the important part. When I make this choice, Alice has already made her choice. Sure of my victory, I throw out a pair of scissors. But... 
What the hell? My rage would be white hot. How could this have happened? Why? Alice's hand had been paper before. How did it change to rock? Bro, we're getting Schrodinger's cat. Cat, cat, Schro, Schro, Schrodinger's cat, catted. Cat, cat. Schro, Schrod, Schrodingered. Schrodinger cat. Y you get it. Look, you, you get me. Uh, obviously, there's no cause and effect here. Since Alice's choice was in the past and mine was in the future, how could that even happen? How could the future influence the past? Through the morphogenetic fields, my guy. But... It wasn't theoretical now. This had actually happened. What the hell was going on? This is interesting to me. Because in the last game, in 999, the morphogenetic fields, like the actual usage of them throughout gameplay was very minimal, I would say. You used it like a couple of times, like to figure out the, the password to get, um, to get Snake out of the coffin, right? You used it there. And obviously there was the actual time when you use the morphogenetic fields to save June, but that's kind of like a lore story pinpoint, right? That's not actually taking information from other paths that you have played and acting on it. That's the only time I can think of off the top of my head uh, in 999 where you actually learn something from another path, right? It's from getting the, the safe combo, learning the, the right, left, right, left uh, on the watch. Or was it left, right, left, right? One of the two. But this game is just really fucking leaning into it. It's like, nah, fam. Sigma knows that something's weird. Like, he's very in tune with it, which is really, it's kind of cool. I'm interested to see how they're going to spin that. No, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Why the fuck was I talking so casually about going back in time? This is a good line. Good line right there. That kind of stuff doesn't happen in real life. Right. Of course. Time travel is impossible. There is absolutely, positively no way to travel through time. But if that was true... The best way to minimize risk and maximize reward in this situation is to choose betray. Anyone who thinks otherwise is, well, an idiot. Hey! <laughs> Yeah, she's pissed. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat this up, brother. <laughs> Stay mad, ho. Did you have a stroke or something? Uh, oh, sorry. Besides, why do I have to answer your questions? Because fuck you, that's why. I should be the one yelling at you. Because of you two, I've only got one VP left. Man, really fucking sucks, doesn't it? Who did, man, what, how? How, how tragic, how truly, truly tragic, Alice. That is so unfortunate. You only have one BP left. You're eight away from escaping now. Whatever you gonna do? Like, what are you gonna do? I just gotta betray one more person and fucking peace out, loser. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> what in God's name is wrong with you? I'm sorry. Really, I, I seriously feel terrible about this. Forget it. I'm never going to trust you or Fi again. <laughs> oh, it makes me mauled so much. It makes me so goddamn mad to just be like, I'm never going to trust you or Fi ever again. But then when you betray me, it's like, oh, well, you're stupid if you didn't choose betray. Obviously, dumbass. Like, oh, my God. Oh, okay, just calm down. Deep breath, deep breath. You'll pay for this. Uh, yeah, I'm sure we will. Whatever. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I fucking dare you. Come at me. Square up, thought. Let's go. I'll throw hands. Alice stormed off. She threw one last hurt, scornful look over her shoulder as she left, and it stabbed me right through the heart. Don't feel guilty. She fucked you over super hard in another timeline that you may or may not be aware of. One of the other teams seemed to be dealing with a similar issue. I really don't know what I can say. We had no idea you would choose Ally. No way I'd choose Betray. I'm with Clover on the other side. What? You know Clover too? What? 
How do you know Clover? No, 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 halt, pause, one minute, how the fuck do you know Clover? I get how you know Quark, because, I mean, he calls you Grandpa, like, that seems pretty damn straightforward, I guess he doesn't have to be Quark's literal grandfather, but he, it seems pretty plausible, right, like, like, it seems very reasonable, or at least a grandfather-like figure, how the fuck do you know Clover? Weird. I mean, I guess we didn't really get their whole backstory, right? In 999. Like, we did. I don't know who the fuck else Clover knows. It just could be some other stranger in her life. How come Clover hasn't mentioned anything about knowing Ten Miyoji, though? And also, why would she betray him in the other version? Wait, wait a minute. If if he knows Clover, then it, it, that should mean Clover knows him. So why would they pick betray? I don't. He clearly feels strongly about this. So you would think that Clover would talk to Kay and be like. Okay, I know him. He's not gonna pick betray. Like we're 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 homies. What the fuck? What? Even she's confused. Okay, no, that's creepy. All right, never mind. That's real weird. Weird vibe. What do you mean? Do you have an interest in Clover? Okay, I don't like where this. Is. Maybe he's just a creepy old guy. I don't know, man. What? No, no. That's not. No. What is it then? Well, yeah, what? What is it then? It, maybe, maybe get to get to get to talking there, old man. What what the fuck is up with that? You'd have to be crazy to pick ally. The only way it'd make any sense to do that is if you really, really trusted the other person. So you're saying you don't trust me then? Duh. What? <laughs> Are you senile? Why the hell would I trust some old geezer I just met a few hours ago? So Tenmyoji knows Clover. Clover does not know Tenmyoji. Interesting. How does he know her? He said he was what a garbage collector? I mean that that doesn't really That doesn't really tell me anything, I suppose. Unless he's some like super fucking creepo garbage collector who's collected the garbage at her house. <laughs> like that 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 seems extreme. I don't know about that. I don't I don't know about that. Ah, uh, I see. Say no more. Didn't think it'd hurt this much. What the fuck is happening? Huh? What's that supposed to mean? You're starting to get kind of creepy. Starting? <sighs> creepy, huh? I understand. I guess I just haven't had enough time to earn your trust. Um, I suppose you could say that. I just didn't really expect you to be so nice about it. Well, looks like those guys managed to get through this all right. Figure that means the fault here's got to be mine. What? Huh? What? What does that mean? What does that fucking mean? Don't, don't just move Thank on. You. Thank you very much. Don't worry about it. We only did what anybody else would do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we only did what anybody else would do. It's very, very normal decision. Just pick, just pick ally. Why you get me weird about right, it? Right, Mr. Dio? Yeah, exactly. Dio, Quark, and Luna, on the other hand, seem to have resolved things amicably by all choosing ally. No doubt we were all wishing we'd done the same. Yeah, well, it is what it is. I tried. Why had Dio sounded so awkward? What had happened in the AB room? Only Dio and Quark knew for sure. Zero, when does the next round start? Eh, yeah, stay mad. What makes you think we'll be having another round? Well, you said round one. If there's a round one, then there's likely a round two. Besides, didn't you say the goal of the AB game was to get 9 BP? That's impossible without a second round. Oh, yeah. I guess you got a point. You're right. There will be a second round. When? I don't know. What? Why not? The voting happens when an AB gate opens. Um, they're already open. Right you are. So, let me just close them. Um. What if we had just gone back in and tried to vote again? What if I just refused to leave the room? What happens then? Like, I'm trying to think of how to, how to break this. Like, what if I had just walked into the AB room and I was like, get fucked, idiot. I live in here. Like, what are you gonna do about it? It's not against the rules. 
The Ambidex gates have closed. Round two of the Ambidex game will be the moon round. Moon cards will be required to open the gates. So interesting now, I assume when we go to get our pairs, Alice will not want to team up with us, which means that we will team up with someone else. So we'll get a different room, right? I, I think, I think that's how that's gonna go. We'll see. Maybe I'll get a choice now. That'd be cool. Moon cards? Does that mean we can't use these cards anymore since they've got suns on them? Yes, indeedy. Now, you'll have to look for cards with moons on them. So, how many times do we play the AB game? As many times as you need to. It's anybody's guess how long it'll go. But I plan on keeping this party going until somebody opens the number nine door. So it's over when someone gets nine BP. Nope. As long as that person doesn't open the number nine door, the game goes on. Of course, you could also get stuck just below nine BP where every bunny just keeps going back and forth and back and forth, many and losing points. After all, if there's no bunny with nine BP, the door can't open. If that happens, you'll just have to continue on to round three, and round four, and round five, round 100, round 2000. You might even go all the way up to round 24 million, nine million, four thousand, eight hundred ninety-seven. <gasps> Although, I really, really hope it doesn't come to that. Hey, can I ask you something? I don't know. Can you? Get, fuck off. What are you, my middle school teacher? There's rules about who can go into the secondary doors, right? Like, you have to have three people, exactly. Yeah, so? Well, what about the number nine door? Are the rules the same? Nope. There aren't any rules about how many people can go through that door. It could be one person, or two people, or even all nine of you. Uh, <laughs> there is one thing though, Siggy. Yeah, it doesn't have to be yada yada. All stuff about how you have to have three people to go through the secondary chromatic doors, maybe it's not 100% true. What? What do you mean? Well, you can open the door with just one or two people if you want. That's not what you told us. Well, I didn't want to make things complicated. Then explain it now. Just use the bracelets. What? How? There's a sort of scanner between the two doors. It checks to see if the right people are going through. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's scanning the people. So it's scanning the bracelets then? Ding, ding, ding! As long as the scanner sees the right combination of bracelets, it doesn't matter how many people there are! But, wait, hold on a minute. Do these things even come off? No, oh, yes! They do indeed. Then, then how do I take it off? Well, there's two ways. The first is to get through the number nine door and escape. As soon as you're out, the bracelet unlocks all by itself. What's the second way? Hey, Zero, wake up, will ya? What's the second way? Oh, Bio. I think you already know. What? Do you really want to get rid of that bracelet? Of course I do! Oh, well. I see. It's easy. Nothing to it, really. You. Die. Oh, what? Oh my god. Here's an exciting fact. Your heart creates a bunch of faint electrical impulses. You know what an electrocardiogram is, right? Technically, it's a machine that graphs the electric current flowing across the myocardium, but you probably know it as the thing in the hospital with the little light that goes beep, 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 beep. When someone dies on a TV show. The point is that you can detect the electricity that your heart makes by pumping blood. Your fancy little bracelets pick up on that. They're always watching. So, when that signal goes away... The lock on the bracelet releases, right? Yep. So there you go. The second way. I have a, I have a question. I don't know if I've posed this yet. 
I feel like I might have, but I'm going to pose it again. I don't know exactly how electrocardiograms work, but it sounds like th these electric impulses are carried through your pumping blood. And if that is correct, what if I just like, what if I just like take my left arm and just like cut off circulation? Like I just, I just grab some like, I don't know, anything to tie around my elbow or like really on, honestly on like the, on like the, the, the bicep or somewhere there, right? And just completely cut off circulation. How long until they come off? Is it instant? Like, cause then I could just un untie that and be like, peace out, homie. <laughs> my bracelet's off. I can do whatever I want now. I'm, I'm a free man. <laughs> you can't stop me. What are you going to do? Like the whole, the whole punishment is, yo, if you do something bad, your bracelet stings you and it's gonna be real mean. But like, like I assume, I guess he's, I guess Zero's watching, right? I don't know if it's, a, do I call the AI a he, a she, a they, does it matter? I'm gonna go with he just cause, I don't know. That's what I'm used to. That's a, <laughs> that sounds really fucked up. That's what I've chosen, all right? So I'm guessing he's probably always watching and if he sees you doing that, he'd be like, hey, just stop that. You fuck off, idiot. Your heart stops, your bracelet comes off. <sighs> Apart from that, there's no other way to get the bracelets off. Or I cut off my arm. That'll do it. If you try something harebrained, like trying to break them or something, you'll be disobeying the rules. I don't think I need to remind you what happens when you do that. But if you're lucky, you might get to see a few of them come off during the next round! Ha <laughs> ha Oops! I guess that's not gonna be very lucky for some of you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Does Cyril also know about the morphogenetic fields? Because they seem to know, I've, I've been like, I'm gonna call him he, and then I went immediately back to they. They seem to know that like, people are gonna die next round. Which that's kind of where we left off, is people were fucking dying. Next round. Uh, yep. What do you mean? Well, do I have to explain everything? Somebody might die during the next round of the AB game. There. That's pretty- If I had to guess, I'd say- Look, it's hold on, can I- Ten me all the or less. One or the other. Can I- Can we go to, like, skip? Or- oh. <gasps> It might be both of them. Ooh. <laughs> Wait, what? Why am I going to die? Oh, well, yeah, this is new dialogue because Alice wasn't a 1B. I get mm -hmm. it. I guess I can tell you why. Anyone whose BP drops to zero gets penalized, just like when you break the rules. I'm pretty sure I already told you what the penalty is. <laughs> you mean the needles in our bracelets are gonna activate and we'll die? Correct, Ziggy. Full marks. Okay, so hold on. I think we've seen this. Hit me, hit me with I some see. skip. Oh, oh, never mind. Alice and I only have one BP. That means we'd have less than zero if we lost two points. What? What the hell? <laughs> Get fucked, loser. This is important stuff. Why didn't you tell us about this earlier? Sorry. Sorry's not going to cut it. I thought you were supposed to tell us the rules, not hide them. Well... Is there anything else you've conveniently left out? It's not fair to make people play a game without explaining all the rules. I think it's fair. After all, it's not like anybody else knew. <laughs> yeah, no, no, nobody, nobody else knew. <laughs> right? Yeah. Right, Fido? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. I guess so. I took a moment to go over everything in my head. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look. Hit me, hit me with some skippage. All right. We're just gonna zoom on through to the the important shit here. Oh my God, there is. <laughs> I I, I should have done this earlier. Honestly, is what I should have done. Oh, baby, okay, um... I mean, let's just go down the list. We have to go to all of them anyway. Oh, and it keeps skipping. Thank you. Thank the Lord. This is all the same. Talk to them. What do we do? Let's go to the infirmary. Near home. I do like when we zoom through the map. 
What are Ooh. you doing here? Oh, stay. Oh, I love it. Stay salty. It powers me. It fuels me. Still mad, huh? <laughs> it's not how we go deliver it. Still mad, huh? Obviously. Oh, come on now. You don't have to get your panties in a bunch. That's easy for you to say, Dio. You're sitting pretty at 5 BP. Tenmyoji and I only have one. You do understand what that means, don't you? That's no reason to take your anger out on people. You won't get your BP back by being a jerk to him. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Okay, I'm loving Tenmyoji, man. It, when 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 he he dunks on Alice when she's a shithead, and then when she's like, "How dare you? I'll fucking kill you for this." He's like, "Look, just like be normal. Like, what the hell's wrong with you? He's why is this dude so highly based?" All right, like, I thought he was kind of creepy with the Clover stuff. I still do. I'm not going to lie. I, I don't know. He's just so fucking based. I don't believe he could. he's doing something weird or malicious. I'm trying to think of a real-life situation where you could know someone really, really well and them have no fucking clue who you are. Like, what does Clover do? We know she works with Alice, which I believe Alice works for that, like, fucking CIA bullshit, right? The, the, I don't remember the exact acronym. So I was like, I don't know, was, I was, my first thought was, is Clover, like, some kind of celebrity and he's, like, a, a super fan? But that wouldn't make any sense if Clover is working with Alice and they're this, like, secret government organization. I don't know, unless she does that on her free time, but I feel like that would come up, right? Like someone else would recognize her if she was like super popular for that. I can't think of anything else, genuinely. Like, unless you're like a, like a, like a personality that people know, then how, I can't think of it. I don't know, maybe we'll see. What's this? You're gonna take his side? Yeah, let's go. I thought you of all people would agree with me. I do. No, you don't. Well, well back poppage there. I'm very sorry. I can't help it. You don't get it. Why would you care? You've got what? Maybe five years wow. left? Wow. Maybe less? Holy shit. Why are you such a bitch, dude? Oh my God. I'm not like you. I'm still young. I want to live a long life. Yeah, hear me out. I'm turning on the AC. Chill out for a little bit, Ice Nine. Fucking There's Christ. There's so many things I still want to do. Eh, who fucking cares? Get over yourself. Like what? Well, let's see. I want to wear lots of gorgeous boo, clothes. Boo, 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 boo. I want to eat tons of delicious food and fall in love. What an idiot. True. Excuse me? And I was going to take your side, but after that load of horse shit, you're on your own. Ugh. Look. Let me try this again. I'm frustrated, but there really is something important I have to do. Okay, now it's avenge my 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 father. Oh, this is apparently new. Oh no no no! Avenge we're... my father's murder. I thought we were on skip. Excuse me. Okay, there we go. Neom. And I assume the next area won't have anything new either. Just don't mind my cursor in the middle of the fucking screen. Completely forgot about it. Anything new going on in the crew quarters? We're gonna find the antimatter bomb. I, I'm i still shook by how, I love that the game is referencing the other pads that you've taken. I think that's super cool. How much dialogue is written in this game then? Like, because those would have to be unique situations for every single path, right? Like if I went down a completely different tree in one of the first three teams I could have chosen, it would be completely different. And there's gonna be like that weird interaction of Sigma with I assume everyone you could have gone with and they're like, what the fuck's wrong with you, weirdo? Like, that's so interesting. Chromatic huh. doors have opened. Oh, now we're into new shit. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. Hey, the doors are open. We need to figure out who's going to go through which door. Honestly, guys, you really should figure this out like ASAP. <laughs> Um, what are our options this time? Pay attention. I'm only saying this once. Just like the last time, we've got three possible combinations. I quickly laid out our choices. Option A. Luna and I, Yellow, pair up with Clover, Cyan, and go through the green door. Tenmyoji and Dio, Magenta, pair up with Alice, Yellow, and go through the red door. K and Quark, Cyan, pair up with Phi, Magenta, and go through the blue door. Option B. Luna and I, Yellow, pair up with Phi, Magenta, and go through the red door. 
Ten Miyoji and Dio Magenta pair up with Clover Cyan and go through the blue door. K and Quark Cyan pair up with Alice Yellow and go through the green door. Option C. Luna and I Yellow pair up with Alice Yellow and go through the blue door. Ten Miyoji and Dio Magenta pair up with Fi Magenta and go through the green door. K and Quark Cyan pair up with Clover Cyan and open the red door. Bing bing. Three minutes remain until chromatic doors close. Okay. How do we want to do this? Well, you decided the first time, right? Yeah. Then can I decide this time? No. I think I decided. Why you? <laughs> I'm so mad. Because in the other route, right? You're like, hey, I'm like the lowest. I should choose. And she goes, no, that's too much. I only have one BP left. Hey, get fucked. Doesn't it seem like the fair thing is to let the person who's at the greatest disadvantage choose? Wouldn't you agree? That means you should get to choose too. I mean, you've only got one BP, right? You've got a point. But how about we listen to what Alice wants first? No, fuck her. So tell us, which door and which people do you want? The green door. And I want to go with Kay and Quark. Hmm... I see. Option B, then. That means Tenmyoji and Dio will go with Clover through the blue door. Is that all right with you, Tenmyoji? Yeah, sure. I don't mind. Why? If we go through there together, that means you'll be playing against me in the next A-B game. Are you really, really sure? Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Matter of fact, that's why I want to go with you. You said you didn't trust me, right? Well, I'd like to change your mind. What a what an absolute giga chad. I figure this will give me the chance. Um I've been wanting to pair up with Alice too. There's something I want to talk to you about. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> oh, what? I okay, so we know the connection with Alice and Clover. And I'm pretty sure Alice is Ice Nine Alice. Tenmyoji's in on this, dude. He knows what the fuck's happening. Does he, is he someone who was in on 999? Like, was he related to that some way? I don't know, maybe he was like, maybe he's like a family member or something? What if he's like a family member of one of the other kids? Right? Like, what if, what if he's a, he's a family member of, I don't know, what if... No, it's not, I was gonna say, what if he's like fucking June's like dad or something, but... Her name was Akane Kurachiki, right? I mean, I don't know, Tenmyoji is his... Tenmyoji Kurashiki, maybe? I don't fucking know. Or maybe Junpei's uh, fucking dad or something. Who else, really? Couldn't be Santa... No, it can't be! It can't be June's dad! Their, their, their parents are dead! That was like a big plot point, is they didn't have any damn parents. Never mind, it's not June's parents. Not June's dad. <laughs> June and Santa don't have any parents. Definitely not that. Um... I don't know, I mean, he could be related to any of them in any way, I guess. That's the only reason I think that he could say, like, I, I trust you, Clover, is what if someone from 999 told him about what happened, right? And that's how Clover could have not met him, but he knows that she's okay. Because he's like, hey, my, my, you know, son, daughter, grandson, granddaughter, whatever, got through this other horrible game and you were pretty on the level, even though half the damn routes ended in you murdering everyone. Probably not related to any of the bad guys, like Ace. Probably probably not related to any of them, now that I think about it. I don't know, this is interesting. What the fuck is up with Tenmyoji, dude? He's, he's, he's freaking me out. Oh, and that is? We'll get to that later. Anyway, Alice's first choice would be option B then? Yes, I guess. What about the rest of you? Is that okay, too? I thought about it for a minute. Or a moment. If I went with option B, then Luna and I would go through the red door with Phi. As far as how I felt about that... Yeah, we like, we, we, we like Phi. We trust Phi. I trust Phi isn't gonna fuck me in the AB game. Maybe, we'll find out. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, that's fine. I don't have any problems with it. There were no objections. Then we're all set. The part of me wants to object just to be like, fuck you, Alice, you bitch. Let's go, everybody. 
10 seconds remain until chromatic doors close. 9, 8, 7. We nodded quickly to one another and split up. Kay, Quark, and Alice headed for the green door, while Tenmyoji, Dio, and Clover ran to the, toward the blue one. My feet slammed against the hard metal of the warehouse floor, and Luna, Phi, and I ran to the red chromatic door, to the next stage of the nonary game. Two, one, zero. Chromatic doors closing. Scan me, baby. Put the character models in here, cowards. Wait, why not? <laughs> It'd be a lot more work, but like, come on, dude. Come, you got, you got them all 3D modeled. Just throw them in there. Who cares? <sighs> huh? Is this a dead end? All three doors seem to be locked. Yeah, looks like it. Wonder what this thing is. It looks like the thing next to the number nine door. It's got a lever. Try pulling it, Sigma. Well, why should I? It might be dangerous. <laughs> Maybe it'll trigger an explosion. Or possibly it shocks you when you pull it. Who knows? Right, and I have no choice. Do you really think I'd say that, you heartless monster? There's nothing on either side, is there? What's that supposed to mean? Uh, sorry for the... Woo! Okay. All right. Got that one out of me. The mental step back. Then we're back up. We're back. We're back. Back and forward. Ah, uh, so, sorry for the confusion. I was talking about your breasts. It's called dressing modestly. I'll have you know I'm a C cup. Literally don't care, didn't ask. This is a weird hill to die on. If, <laughs> Jesus Christ, guy. If you're a C cup, I'm packing 12 inches. We continued in that vein for some time until, what the fuck is wrong with you two? What the, like I understand the disagreement between Sigma and Alice. That makes sense why they're at each other's throats. What the fuck is up with this? Thanks, Luna. I'm glad you're the one adult here. Jesus fucking Christ. Huh? What? <laughs> it sounded like you two might take a while, <laughs> so I pulled the lever. Thanks, Luna. Is that okay? Only the one on the left opened. The others are still shut tight. Well, we should get going anyway. Yeah. Yup. Big fan of Luna so far. Can't wait for her to horribly betray us. Can't wait for that inevitable. What the fuck is this room? I don't remember this shit. Oh, is this the one with the sleep pods? What is this place? It looks like some kind of control room. I can see a huge machine of some sort on the other side what of this window. What the fuck is- What the fuck is that thing? Maybe a generator? Right. Well, let's split up and look around. We need cards with the moon on them for the next AB game, right? Yeah. They're probably in this room somewhere. Let's get started. They're probably in the safe that we have to unlock in every single room if I were to hazard a guess. It's, it's time to seek a way out. Got him. <laughs> Nailed it. I, I never missed my cue. <laughs> oh, put me in, brother. Oh my god, there's so many damn screens here. <laughs> no, I don't. Don't zoom in, please. This looks like it's the control panel. It's covered with screens and buttons and so on. Oh, thank god. No, I, look, I, I understand. Oh. What is that thing? An octopus? That's a pretty big octopus. Yeah, it'd take all our lives to eat something that big. Don't eat it. Um, uh, I think that maybe that's an annihilation reactor. Uh, annihilation? You mean 
like that bomb? Yes, the core of the Annihilation Bomb would work on the same principles. I think Fi knows a lot more than me about these things, though. Well, I wouldn't say that. I've just picked up a few tidbits of information here and there. Tidbits, huh? If it is what Luna thinks, it should be pretty simple. There's going to be a bunch of matter and antimatter in there, probably hydrogen and antihydrogen, bumping into one another. Oh, oh no! Oh, thank God. When they do annihilate one another, that's where you get the name, and release a bunch of energy, you can actually calculate how much energy by taking the mass, defect, and... God, it's... Stop! Too complicated! You're saying that octopus thing is a machine that runs off annihilation energy, right? Well, machine is a weird way to put it. It's more like an engine, like a steam engine or an internal combustion engine, just better. All of the electricity in this facility is generated by Mr. Octopus. So that would make this room... Yes, this is Mr. Octopus's control room. <laughs> I love that she's calling him Mr. Octopus. There's a big mechanical octopus behind the gate. <laughs> or the, the gate? Oh my god, the glass! Jesus Christ, guy. Apparently it's some kind of power generator called an annihilation reactor. Oh lord, oh no, there's so many. Oh good god. This looks like it's the control panel. It's covered with screens and buttons and so on. Oh, we got a laptop here. Oh, okay. Test. There's a piece of paper on that clipboard. It says, test. Each letter is written in a different color. The T is green, the E is blue. The S is yellow, and the second T is pink. They all look like they've been written with a highlighter. Okay. Well, testage. I understand. Oh, we got a T here. A laptop. It's got something on the screen. It's the letter T. Huh. Did you see that thing plugged into the side of the laptop? Yeah, it looks like a memory stick. We call that a USB drive? USB scanner! Whoa! Whoa, look at this bad boy. I don't think this is a memory card. What? Unless I miss my guess, it's actually a portable scanner. See, there's a thin slit on the end. Just wave that part over any images or text you want to scan. What the fuck? That's insane! Then you can just plug it back into the laptop... ...and look at whatever you scanned. Neat! Alright, what if we combine it with test? Ooh, USB scanner yellow! Ooh! What if we... Huh? The screen changed. Do you think it's because you pulled that thing out? What the fuck happened? Well, we put, put that in. Oh, hey, the screen's blue now. This is... Whoa, already? There's no way, dude! Hmm. Looks like a password. You think this is for the panel on the safe? I assume so. You found a safe password! Bro, that's gotta be the second one, right? Surely. Okay, yeah, that's the second one. I was like, if I could just escape without doing any of the puzzles, that'd be wild. <laughs> okay, we gotta scan something else with this bad boy. Is there anything else we can use the test for? Okay, we still can use that for something. Dude, that was so easy compared to some of the other ones. What the fuck, my guy? Honestly, give me that damn file already. I've earned this. A, a safe. It looks like the ones I saw in the AB room and the infirmary. So if we put in a password, it should open. Looks like it works the same, too. Hold on, what was it again? Uh, password, control room, uh, moon, star, sun. Moon, star, sun. Bloop! Completed! Bro, we're reading this file immediately. Piece of cake. You found a gold file. To view it, visit the secret tab in the archive. I would love to. I would absolutely adore to. Let's see. So these are all ones we already saw. 
No, please. I beg you. Not like this. Don't. I'm scared. Okay. For some reason, Sigma, or perhaps the author, seems to be unnaturally obsessed with swimsuits. Why is that? Was he involved in a horrible swimsuit accident, now repressed in his youth? Did he have a crush in high school on a girl on the swim team who put her Olympic aspirations ahead of any possible romance? Is he just a perv? World may never know. Okay, so he's got a thing for swimsuits? I guess this is news to me. This device can be used... Oh, and hold on. Let's actually read what it is. Password input device. This device can be used in an emergency to deactivate the antimatter bombs hidden throughout the facility. It doesn't really have any official name. Sometimes it's called the designated computer terminal, but sometimes it's just the input device. The device has a small QWERTY keyboard beneath an LCD display. On the top is a large black cable which can be attached to the bomb you wish to deactivate. Entering the correct password on the keyboard will stop the detonation. Antimatter reactor. In a general sense, an antimatter reactor is a system that generates electricity or some other form of power from matter-antimatter reactions. This facility uses hydrogen and antihydrogen. The reactions power a turbine, which generates energy and powers everything in the facility. It looks like a giant octopus, but it's definitely not edible, no matter how you cook it. Antihydrogen atom, a particular type of antimatter. Normal hydrogen atoms have one proton and one electron, but an antihydrogen atom has the opposite, one antiproton and one positron. In November 2010, the European Organization of Nuclear Research, CERN, C-E-R-N, issued a statement announcing that they had captured an antihydrogen atom. Antihydrogen atom, excuse me. They claimed that they had gathered 38 of them, in fact, and managed to hold them in a special container for 0.2 seconds. Less than six months later, in June of 2011, they managed to capture several more anti hydrogen atoms and contain them for more than 1,000 seconds. Damn, what an in, what a, bro, you went from 0 0.2 seconds to 1,000 seconds? That's an incredible leap, holy shit, dude. Although the creation and storage of antimatter is still a difficult obstacle, these results suggest that antimatter reactors could someday be a possibility. TNT equivalent. TNT is often used as a reference point when discussing the power of explosive devices. Specifically, explosive power is usually de described by tonnage. The amount of energy one ton of TNT produces is approximately 4.184 gigajoules. This means that an explosive device with an output of one megaton generates 4.184 petajoules. TNT stands for Trinity Tallow... No, Tronti Til... til trin no, Trinidad and Tobago? Ah, uh, uh, yes, it's Trin Trinitotchilin. Trin Trinitotchilin? Trinitotchilin? That's it, it's one of the most common explosives, which is how it came to be a reference point. A kilogram of TNT has 4.184 megajoules of energy, but a kilogram of butter has 30 megajoules. Butter's some dangerous stuff. E equals mc squared. Einstein's famous equation. Put simply, it means that energy is equal to mass times the speed of light, c, squared. It describes how much energy you'd get by annihilating matter with antimatter, a lot, but also carries the interesting implication that with enough energy, you could theoretically create matter. Uh, hold, hold on, hold, hold up, wait a minute. Uh, I don't know about this. <laughs> I took I took some physics classes before. I don't know about this one, Chief. This seems a little uh, science fiction-y to me. I'm not super certain. Also, that equation is using a lot more than just antimatter. It is something that I don't even know is really that well documented. I, I can't speak on the subject. I'm not an expert. I haven't taken any any classes or studied or read any research papers on on you know antimatter. I have no idea. But. Oh, a little quick sip there. I don't know about this implication that you could create matter. I'm pretty sure there's like that little matter cannot be created or destroyed law. It's just throwing that out there, only transferred to kind of like how you can't create energy. You know, you, you feel me? You dig? You with it? I don't know, though. I don't know what I'm talking about ever. 63 terajoules, the amount of energy you'd get by combining 350 milligrams each of matter and antimatter. You can get this number using the equation equals mc squared. Phi. What do you get when you convert 700 milligrams to kilograms? Alice. 7.0 times 10 to the minus fourth, 0.007 kilograms. Phi. 
then what's the speed of light? Alice. About 300,000 kilometers per second. If you convert that to meters, you get 3.0 times 10 to the 8th, or about 3 billion meters per second. Fine. And what if you square that? Alice. 9.0 times 10 to the 16th. Fine. And then if you multiply that times the original mass? Alice. You get 63 times 10 to the 12th. 63 trillion. Thank you for the breakdown on this math. On this secret file. I really needed that. In, in fucking character talk format. <laughs> like it's a damn play. What's going on with this clock? A red clock. It says 1,000... Ooh, so it says 11,400 sec on the face. Not sure why. A red clock. Okay, I can't interact with it. Understood. What if I scan it? Oh, no, I have the scanner equipped. Never mind. I lied. What's in these? What even are these? Oh. Oh. Numbers clipboard. What do they mean? All right. This piece of paper has four rows of four-digit numbers. The color of each digit seems to be random. Green, blue, yellow, pink. They all look like highlighter colors. Hmm. Highlighters, you say? What if we combine it with the USB stick? Now we got the green USB scanner. These are all wrapped in PP bands. PP bands? Rope made of polypropylene. Poly polypropylene. Some folded cardboard boxes. They're wrapped with something called a PP band. Some folded cardboard boxes. Oh, we got some stuff. Hold on. What are these? You'll give me that protractor? Looks like there's something in the red box. Let's see what it is. Got a protractor. Wow, a protractor. I haven't seen one of these in a while. You remember what they're for, right? You use them to figure out angles. There's a red line 30 degrees away from the 90 degree mark. What's it mean? Maybe it's telling you to set some angle to 30 degrees. It's reasonable, honestly. Looks like there's something in this blue box. Let's see what it is. Got a compass. A compass. One leg has a needle, the other leg has a pencil. You think we're supposed to use this for something? Well, usually you use a compass to draw circles. Where should we draw a circle, though? On a piece of paper, I would assume. How big of a circle? Hmm, I don't know. If we had an angle to set the compass to, that, that might help. Yeah, gee, I wonder. Uh, oh, oh, wow, expanded compass. Whoa, look at it. Damn, dude. Hold on, I want to I want to see what's up with my new scanned piece of paper first, though. Because I imagine I'm going to need to scan this. Whoa, what the fuck is this shit? Don't think I didn't see that. Oh, my God, dude. I got the first one so quick. I was like, ah, this room's going to be easy as hell, man. Little did I know. Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Oh. Show me it. Look at the screen. Huh, it changed. Huh? That's weird. This is the paper with the numbers on it, right? It's only showing four digits, though. Well, if we read them in the direction of the arrow, then we've got 7213. Hear me out? I would like 7, 2, 1, 3. There are four green numbers on the screen. 7, 2, 1, 3. Give me that. Give me that back. I'm going to need that later. Oh, God. Why do I always choose the long way to go around these rooms? Why am I so cursed? What the fuck is this? Oh god, I'm gonna have to put some. You know what? Don't. Nah, let's look at it. Don't be a coward. What is this thing? It's huge. I would guess it's used to analyze things. It looks like it's missing a part, though. Yeah, fair enough. That's a tall screen. I don't think it's turned on. Maybe it can't get power for some reason. Very reasonable deduction. Luna is killing it. I just want to say, Luna helping out a lot. What is this again? Oh, god damn it. One of these <laughs> fucking things again. Let's figure out how this works first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Not like this. 
Seven. All right, look, try to figure out a seven first. Um, five plus two is seven. Easy. Now we're looking for a two. Um, zero plus two is two. And then a one. How are we going to get a one? Uh, the zero times one is going to be zero. Two divided by two gives me one. And then a three would be a little two plus one. Boom, just that easy. Give me the machine part. Excellent, unlocked. Good work, now open it up. Okay. What the? Disc shaped part, what on earth? It's part of the scanner, I imagine. Or the, the analyzer, if you wanna call it. What is this thing? It's pretty big. Maybe you're supposed to wear it like a crown. Why the hell would I need to do that? Well, it could be part of a machine. If it is, you probably need to attach it to something. Very reasonable. We probably need to attach it to whatever's in here. So we've got clocks. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold on. Wait a minute. What if we do a little uh, expand? No, 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 it's, it's set to 60 degrees. All right. I guess now I need to figure out what I'm supposed to draw a circle, or where I'm supposed to draw a circle. Maybe there's something with a mark that shows us where the center should be. Hmm, I would like to combine this with the numbers clipboard? No. Okay, what if we just put this on the clock? A blue clock. It says 510, 510 min on the face. That's a long time. Okay, that is incorrect. Um, can I combine you with the test clipboard? No. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh. Looks like there are a few different books here. We've got some sort of dense technical thing and a novel? Hmm. It doesn't look like there are any clues here, though. Fair enough. Anything with the boxes? A cardboard box filled with complicated machinery. Do you think we can use it? I don't even know what it is. Fair enough. <laughs> Reasonable deduction. Oh, can okay, I pull these levers? No. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, God. I hate going around this. I truly hate going around that. I mean, I don't think I can use this yet. Yeah, I mean, it's not gonna attach anything. We gotta figure out this other, look. I've been avoiding this damn thing for too long. Pull the lever. Whoa, excuse me. Pull the lever. What's this? It's got all these pipes. Look at the, look at the black and yellow lever. It says power under it. You think this tubing has electrical cables in it or something? Maybe flipping these levers will let us change the amount of electrical current. What would that accomplish? I, I don't know. Well, I'm guessing the power lever is the source. Hmm. Might as well give it a... Wait, don't get ahead of yourself. Look at 320. Oh. The lever's missing. Without a replacement lever, I don't think we'll be able to do anything. Yeah, 320 is indeed missing a lever, that is correct. Whoa, okay, I hate it. Uh, there's a small hole in it that looks like it was made with a needle. Do you think this is where it goes? Where what goes? Oh, probably the compass. Boop. The sheet has on and off written on it a bunch of times. There's a tiny hole in the middle of the paper that looks like it was made with a needle. So... I just put the compass needle in here. Boom. All right, well, I can't do anything with that yet, but it will be relevant eventually. That does also tell me that we do not need the, uh, ba -ba 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 what am I talking about? We don't need the compass for this. What do we write this down? All right, oh, that's not what I want. I want memo. Um, blue. Oh God, I can barely read that, dude, against this background. Five. One, zero, min. Can't see the dot there. And what was the other one again? I don't remember the red clock. 
1,000 or 11,400 seconds. 11,400. Sick. All right. Bring me back to the uh, the lock here. Let's give it a shot. This soccer looks like the one the ones in the crew quarters. Even the puzzle panel looks similar. Let's see here. Okay. Um, hours and minutes. I see. I understand. Okay. Five hundred and ten minutes. Fuck, dude. I don't have my phone on me. I can't use a calculator. <laughs> No, 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 I don't need a calculator. 600 minutes, right? There's 60, there's 60 minutes in an hour, right? So 600 minutes is 10 hours, okay? Minus 60 would be 540. So that's nine hours. So it's eight and a half hours, 8.5, right? Uh, 8.5 hours. H R. Oh god, 1140 sec bro. If I had a calculator, this would really help. I don't want to alt tab out and like you know, I don't know. <laughs> and this is gonna be weird if I do that. Just tab out and pull out my calculator on my desktop. <laughs> um, okay. Eleven thousand four hundred seconds. Well again, right, so 60 seconds in a minute. So 10 minutes is 600 seconds, right? 60 seconds in one minute, 10 minutes is 600 seconds. So an hour, 600, bro, you're about to see some jank. 600 seconds in 10 minutes times six. That's gonna be six times six is 36. And then the other two zeros. So 3,600 seconds in an hour, right? Right? We good so far? I don't... No, 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 no. We got this, we got this. So... 36 times two is 72, right? Yeah, 36 plus 36 is 72. So 72, and then another 36 would be 108. Okay, so that's one, two, three hours. Three hours equal three HR. Okay, and then there's the zeros, but look, not important. So then that's another 14,000 seconds, or 1,400 seconds which is 1,400, it's like a little less than half an hour. Bro, these decimal points are gonna, there's no way, I'm doing something wrong here. There's no way, right? So it's three hours and, unless it wants me to use like hours and minutes, like eight hours, 30 minutes for like the blue. Let's try that, so. 8, 30, but then this has got to be, okay, so hold on, 8, 30, bro, I can't, oh, do not do that, that would be tragic, that would be truly tragic, um, 8.30, we'll try that, then it would be what, 3 hours, and then, that's no, 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 no! I did this. I did this math super fucking wrong. Hold on, hold on. It's not one thousand four hundred seconds. It's one thousand. No, 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 no! It's not even that. It's uh six seven, bro. My brain is dying. It's six hundred seconds. Six hundred seconds, which is one hour. What? That doesn't work. No. Six hundred seconds is ten minutes. God bless. I am so fucking stupid. Holy shit. So 8.33.10? Maybe? Let's see. Is there a way to get 8? 6 plus 2 is 8. 
then 30. 13 plus 17 is 30. 3, 1 plus 2, 10, 6 plus 4. Oh my god, let's go! Woo! Basic math! I'm like a, I'm, I'm, at, like, I'm at like a third grade level. <laughs> oh man, dude, it's been, I just want to say, it has probably been like a fucking decade since I've had to do math like that. <laughs> Uh, which doesn't excuse me doesn't excuse me, but we got there we got there slow and steady wins the race Okay, there's a reason they give you a whole damn class period for a test. All right, like <laughs> You did it it unlocked See if you can open it as I needed this W especially after the fucking scales last time Okay, I read I rewatched it and I I also cringed. I'm very sorry yeah, the scale that go up is the heavy one. I know, ha ha ha. Full on funny man on internet don't know how gravity works, okay? Look, just give me, give me this one, please. <laughs> I beg you, be kind. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what is this alien shit here? Rainbow tree root. <laughs> wow, those are some intense colors. What is that thing? I think it's a root system from a tree. W what? Uh, come on, no tree has rainbow roots. I don't think it looks like that naturally. They probably painted it. It's pretty ugly. I agree. So what am I supposed to do with it? I'm sure it'd make a delightful souvenir, but I don't think it'd make I'd make it past customs. <laughs> Maybe you're supposed to put it somewhere. Like? Well, on that machine, perhaps? What if we combine this? Nope, you cannot combine these items. How dare you even consider the fact that you could combine those items? You true buffoon. Put that bad boy in. I think I could put that rainbow colored root here. Boom. And now we put on its little head brace, its little crown, a rainbow colored root. We put it on the machine, what do we do now? Uh, it looks like it would fit. Here we go. Boom, okay, now I need to find the lever still. I'm missing the lever here. What else have we not looked at? Let me check like little boxes under here, some cardboard boxes. There's some machinery inside, but we don't know what it's for. <laughs> Nothing here. Where would that little lever be? Little lever. Uh oh, look, this one's a different color. Yeah, give me that. Hey, I think you can move these. Oh, you're right. It says off on the top and on on the bottom. Hmm. What if we pull them all down? Turn them all on. That did nothing. Okay, hear me out. What if we reference the chart all the way over here as I very slowly pan our way around? One, two, three, four, five, six. So on. Well, how? Hold on. No, 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 no. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Um, boop. So what if we go and. F, F, on, off, 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 off. Literally just the first one on and all the others off. Yeah, okay, just that I don't even need this damn thing. Get that out of here. Yeah, first one on, literally everything else off. Assuming that's correct. It may not be. I have I don't think this is the furthest way to spin, actually. Hold on. What if we turn all these bad boys off? Come on, work work with me here. Please. Hmm. Nothing happened. Did I do this incorrectly? Am I missing something here? Control panel. Hmm. Hmm 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 hmm. On. Off. Off. Off, off, off. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right? Unless it wants me to go like one, two. So is it the second one, maybe? 
I don't know. Let's try it. I didn't mean to look up. I apologize. I'm very, very sorry. I did not intend to look up. How dare I? The audacity. True audacity of myself. I didn't do anything either. I mean, what if I just, like, try one at a time? Is that a... Okay, that was a coincidence. I thought I heard a sound. I don't think I'm doing this correctly. I do not believe I am doing it in the right manner. What else could this mean, my guy? One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six words that are circled here. There are six levers, right? Like, they should all be off except one of them on. You feel me? You dig? You hip? You with it? Cha 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 cha? So which one is the one that's on? Did it, are they, is it actually the top is on and the bottom's off? I thought it was the other way around. No, yeah, the bottom's on. I mean, this one looks different. I don't... I don't get it. I don't understand. What if we switch it? What if we make them all on and then turn one off at a time, right? Hear me out. This little, little brute force action, don't worry about this. Okay, that was incorrect as well. Let's turn them all off again. Just put it back to default, just in case. Please, thank you. What do we have for items? We got, we still got this damn test clipboard, my guy. What is this thing for? And we got the scanner green, which we don't need anymore. That gives us scanner green. Um, hmm. <laughs> oh, and this is supposed to show the other clipboard, right? Which I already grabbed that one, correct? I'm pretty sure I already grabbed that one. Yeah, okay, cool. Cool, cool. I mean, it's got... No, look, I didn't mean to look at the lockers. I'm sorry that I clicked on them in order to pan my camera. I apologize. It's gotta be something to do with this, brother. Unle oh my god, it's not the ones in, it's the ones on the circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? Surely. Six. So what if we try four and six on? That's how it's gotta be. Surely, surely. And I'm just going clockwise. One, two, three, four. And six. Fuck. <laughs> Shit, I was relying on that. Um... Okay, what if we just try a different configuration? So if it's not starting at the top and going clockwise, um, what order is it going in, brother? I assumed it would be like, you know, off one, two, three. That's counterclockwise. You're actually the world's dumbest man. Holy shit. It should be one and three. Oh my God. You are truly the world's stupidest man. That's counterclockwise, dumbass. Oh my lord. All right, pull those back up. Hey, there we go. S Sigma, what are you doing? Don't break it. Ah, no, it wasn't me. It just fell off. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Well, it's off now, so no point crying over spilt levers. Maybe we can use it somewhere else. Like, where? Yo, little lever handle action for this other math puzzle over here that I'm going to embarrass myself upon with my elementary school math skills. Okay, if I just put it here. Bro, that lever's way too big to go there. I don't believe it. Good. There we go. So, uh... What am I... What am, what am, I, what am I doing here? So what should I do with this thing? I found a manual on the floor over there. Oh, God damn it. Oh, I found this piece of clue. It says that this machine doesn't really use electricity in a conventional way. Huh? Those tubes use some kind of special liquid to transmit electricity. Actually, it's 
pretty complicated. The simple version is that you can adjust the voltage by adjusting the flow of the liquid. So let's say you turn that rightmost lever all the way to the left. If you do that, then all the liquid coming from 240 will go to the left tube. Turn it all the way to the right, and it all goes to the right tube. Checks out. What if you put it in the middle? Then it gets halved. Each pipe will end up with 120 instead of one getting 240. So what's the deal with the question marks? Those represent unknowns in the target values. The one with the three question marks means it's supposed to be a three-digit number, while the ones with only two mean those are two-digit numbers. And of course, the single question mark means that the value is only a single digit. What about the one that starts with the three? Well, I would guess that means the hundreds digit has to be three. So, four? Means the tens digit has to be four. So, all right, so, question mark four question mark means the tens digit has to be four. And question mark question mark five means the ones digit has to be five, right? Yes, I, I think so. So, let me see if I've got this. We need to adjust the lever so that the liquid gives us the right numbers on the bottom? That's correct! Once you've got all the levers set, then I think you pull on down on the power lever like this. Ah, that makes sense. I think that about covers it. Oh, wait, one more thing. The liquid will only flow from top to bottom. The manual was very specific about that. Okay, let's do this thing. Oh, good God. Christ Almighty, help me. Okay. We're at 120. So we need to add 240 there. Or... No, 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 no. 240. Wow, this needs to be a three-digit number. It ends in five, huh? That's a real friggin' problem, dude. This has to be middle. Unless it's right. Unless it's to the right. Okay, so 240 plus 210. This is 450 right here. Which will not work. 240, 305 right here. 305 going that way. Uh, 105. I think these two are correct now. I think. Hopefully we don't need to do any... We, we will. We absolutely will. Fuck me, dude. Honestly, these two... Well, they all kind of connect. I hate this. I truly hate this. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Think, brain. You cannot turn this lever to the right or to the left because then you will never get any liquid here. So 240 halved is 120, halved is 60. That's got it. This has to be correct, surely. Because I don't think there's any other way you're going to get a double digit here. So we've got. We've got like. So 240 brings us 120. 120. And then this goes to 60. 60. Right? But then the 120 here adds up. So that's 180. 320 halved is 150. 160. We're looking at 160. 180 plus 160. 16, 15, 14. That should be right, actually. Hold on. And then 160 here. Hear me out. God, I'm good. Oh, let's go. I was looking at that and I was like, hear me out. Like, this could just be a zero. <laughs> like, just pull that over there and let's just see if it works. I didn't even do the math on this one. I was just like, yeah, it's probably right. Right? Like, surely. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Yes! I'm a champion! Look! What? Oh, oh, there it goes. I was like, what are we looking at? <laughs> it turned the power on. Look. Oh, whoa. Look at it go. It's moving. 
Looks like it's finally ready. But ready for what? Well... Ready for you to use this, I'm guessing. This screen? Yeah, I think. Bro, I'm struggling to figure out Fi's voice. I don't know what the fuck to do for her. I'm 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 trying. I really am. <laughs> I'm sure that's very apparent. I think I've got it. This machine is a CT scanner. You mean like from a hospital? Yes. One of those things that can take pictures of cross sections of your brain and organs and stuff? Yes. It can image things other than the human body, too. Like this fruit, for instance. Oh, look at it go. Re, re. Hmm. Oh, good God. So what we're seeing on the left is a slice of that root? I think so. What are we supposed to do then? I think trial and error is going to be the best way to figure this one out. Just start messing with it and we'll see what happens. All right. Dragging up and down where the, where the image of the root is displayed will allow you to scroll between layers. The bottom layer has eight circles of a different colors. Assign, four of those circles are blank. Assign an appropriate number to each circle. The numbers you can use are displayed below the cross section. You move the numbers where they need to be by dragging them. Here goes nothing. Literally, they were just like, I don't know, just fuck with it. See what happens. O okay, um... 100. Okay. Fuck off. <laughs> I hate this. Okay, I get it. We started a, hun a hundo, right? Four sixteenths, six twentieths, like what? Come on, dude. Come on, man. Um. Okay, there's only the three sections. We go a hundred. Let's try and figure out some of these other ones. Four over sixteen? I can't move these. What? I have no fucking clue. What the hell am I doing here, man? Like, bro. I don't know, like... That, that made it yellow. Oh wait, it's just always gonna be yellow. That's just the color of the circles. Got it. Um... All right, I might as well talk about my theory here. I don't think it's right, and that's why I didn't want to say anything, because I feel like it's fucking stupid. But this is 3 over 15, right? Well, the 15 has been changed to a 12. So I was like, well, uh, you know, what if, uh, because the 15 is a 12, you know, that's like minus 3, right? So what if we add 3? That would actually make that a 6, not a 5. Uh, yeah. You know, like, that's, that's really the thought process here. Uh, 21 plus 1, so I need a 7 there. This theory is already fucked up. Great. So what if instead we do the same... So if we minus 3, we don't have a 0. Oh, I don't want to deal with fractions, dude. I don't want to do it. You can't make me. You can't make me. Um... Fuck me. 100. 100. Four over sixteen. Four sixteenths of a hundred. One hundred divided by... Does a hundred divide into any of these evenly? A hundred divides into fifteen, right? Thirty, sixteen... No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't divide. It only divides into twenty correctly. This can't be right, right? That can't be how that go. There's no way. It's impossible. It's truly impossible. Um, I don't know, fucking, eh, put the seven there, just like put numbers in. Back? Damn, I, I can't figure it out. Just calm down and think. If you concentrate, I'm sure you'll find the answer. Yeah, okay, look, yeah, yeah, I, I understand the rules. What the fuck, dude? I'm actually lost on this one. Four sixteenths, three fifteenths, six twentieths? Like, why? Why you gotta be like this, dude? Okay. One twentieth of a hundred is five. 
5 times 20 is 100. So, 6 twentieths is 6 times 5, right? 6 times 5 is 30. But we don't, like, that doesn't, that doesn't work, brother. That's not, that's not how that works, my, my G. That's not how that goes. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? Right? What am I missing here? What am I not understanding? Maybe they're not fractions? What are they trying to tell me then? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. Three, four, five, six, question mark? Hmm. And like 15, 16, now then 20. How does this work? I've got to use these numbers I'm given to figure out what's going on here. Hmm. Is there any correlation between these? I genuinely am super fucking lost here. 100 gets split into the four roots, right? That's gotta be what it's trying to say here. Like, you start at 100, and you split it into these four roots. And it's gonna go in different proportions. And then you gotta, I don't know, man. Uh, one, two, three, four. Um, uh, uh, uh. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm just moving things around. Pull them all out, pull them all out. Think, full on, think. Think, full on, think. It's a friggin' invincible meme, dude. You're, it's probably super simple, right? Everything else has been pretty basic math. There's no way they're gonna make you do these like weirdo fractions, right? There's gotta be something a lot simpler that you're missing here. Surely. I refuse to believe it. What if, like... Mm, no, that doesn't work. Hmm... We only go up to 10. How strange. Is there any significance in the order these are put in down here? Like, why are 9 and 10, like, all the way off to the side here? Probably not, that's probably just UI. 100. What if we just add them? Right, what if we just add them? So like, get this out of here. So three plus 15 is eight, 18? And then six plus 20 is 26. And, well, I don't have a yellow color, so you're getting greened as well. That's 20. 46. Uh, 50. 64? 64. 100. Minus 64. Is 36. Right? That would have to be 36. I can't see the blue. I'm not gonna lie, I genuinely can't see it. So you're gonna be red. 36. Let's make sure, six and six is 12. Right? So that would be 26 plus 36 is 62, 70, 2, 80, 90, 100. Yeah. So, what if now, bringing back to my memo, baby. What if now we try to, like, so... 12... So we go, like... 6 here... To add up to the... Oh, no, I didn't want archive. Oh, wait, what is this? 
Oh, these are just the files we received. Okay, I wanted memo. 36 is gonna be impossible. I need 16 to put here. I can't do that. Like, I would need a one here and a five here. One, five. I don't know, just like put random shit in here. See what happens. Yeah, who would have thought this is not correct? <laughs> who could have seen this coming? Hmm. It was six, one, five, right? I did do that correctly. Six, one, five. I don't know, just like throw them all in there, brother. Nope. Okay. That theory does not hold ground. Let's not add them. That'd be kind of weird also. Also, let me double check my math here. Six plus 20 is 26. Four plus 16 is 20. 15 plus three is eight. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. 46. 50, 64, right? Yeah, 64. Just get, get that out of here, get that out of here. It's, cl it's cluttered in my mind. Oh, this is the fucking pins, dude. It's the pins all over again. Ooh, we're gonna be here a minute. And that's okay, that's all right. Just take your time, work through it. Work through it. You can do this. You got all the time in the world, brother. So if it's not add them together, which, why would they be positioned this way if it was add them together anyway? What could it mean? I desperately hope it's not fractions, like three fifteenths of a hundred. A hundred doesn't divide into 15 though, evenly. Like, it just doesn't. Nor 16, you know, like. I don't think that's it either. And then how do we get to like 12, 19, and 21? I feel like 100 is split amongst here, right? And these are to tell us how it's split there. And then we need to figure out how it's split down here. So in theory, let's just take one of these, right? So let's take green. This is six over 20. If it's 100 is split four ways here, what if it's just even? What if it's all just 25? What what if, what if they what if they just did that? Like, hear me out. 4 10 No, we need 13 here. That doesn't work. 25 v 6 And yeah, like it's not going to you know, it's not going to work. We need 13. I mean, I'm gonna put them all in there anyway, just in case, but it's not, it's not gonna work. Yeah. Hmm. So it's not all even. These have gotta tell me how it's being split. That's gotta be how it is, right? Because if it was all even, then they wouldn't bother with these. So. Four over 16, oh my God. 4 over 16 is 1 fourth, 1 quarter. So, in theory, this one, 25, right? 3 over 15 is 1 fifth. 1 fifth of 100 is 20. 6 over 20 is a little bit weirder. <laughs> That one's a little bit more strange. Um, that is three tenths. So that would be 30. Um, that's 45, 75, 25. And then we try and get those to add up. Is that correct? So it'd be 10, nine. Oh. 10, nine, eight, and six. Please. Oh, let's go. Woo. Okay, that one, that one was a lot simpler than I was making it. Huh, looks like I got it. You sure did. That's amazing. Good work. Well, would you look at that. The color changed. Hmm, I wonder. Have a look, Sigma. 
I would I would love to. This is I knew it. You've seen a password like this before, haven't you, Luna? Yes. In the AB room and the infirmary. It'll open the safe, right? Yeah. Oh, get me out of here. Get me out of the cursed math room, please. No, I want to leave. Free me! <laughs> Free me! I don't want to be in here anymore. Oh, I'm done making a fool of myself. Star, sun, moon. Star, sun, moon. Oh, completed! We did it! Yes! It opened! What we got in there? Okay, let's get our prizes. First, we've got... A map. It says floor B. The one we found in the crew quarters said floor A. So did the one in the infirmary. Hmm. We came down here using an elevator, right? So that would make A the top floor. Seems weird. Don't the numbers usually count up from the bottom floor? Well, look at it this way. A for above, B for below. Oh my god, I said B for below, didn't I? <laughs> Let's go! Why does that seem... ominous? Whatever. Moving on. Or A floor is the ground floor, and these are descending underground, right? That's probably more what it is. Whatever, moving on. Our next prize is... Let's see... Key cards. I have a moon on them. That means these are the moon cards the announcer was talking about. Now we can play the next AB game. They gave us two, just like with the sun cards. I'm a solo, so I'll take one. That's fine with you guys, right? Sure, go for it. You've got two other things left. I've seen one of them before, but this one... Ooh! Is it some kind of input device? This is to disarm the bomb! It has a keyboard on it. And a cable connected to the top. We can worry about that later. Might as well take it with us for now, though. And finally... The key. We can get out now! Yeah. Or yeah. <laughs> this should unlock the exit. Let's get the fuck out of here. No more screwing around. Let's move. Agreed, Fi. Agreed. Let's get the hell out of here, dude. I hate this place. Let me leave. Free me. Do we have anything? What else? Is there nothing else for the scanner? I mean, I got the file. Whatever. Get me out. I chose the long route. We're taking the scenic <laughs> detour real quick. Oh, excuse me. Just giving a quick look over everything. Boom, I would like to unlock the lock. The door's lock. It says lock. Okay, let's go. Yes, let's. I, I agree. Three, two, one. You found it. Ooh, we got there. Very slowly, but we got there. Ooh. An ambidex gate has been opened. Um, excuse me. What? <laughs> uh, very rude. Highly rude. However, however, we're going to save this little cliffhanger uh, for next episode. So, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And if you look down in the description, you'll find a link to the Steam Store page. You can pick up the game for yourself and give it a look through, give it a run through, and see the different dialogue that I didn't see because this fucking game is talking about pads that you already took. But if I had taken the Betray path first and then gone to Ally, like, who, who knows how this would work, man? Or maybe the game assumes you'll always pick Ally first and it only works at, like, I don't know. I want to believe that it's basing the dialogue off of you, what pads you've already taken, because that's super cool. But anyway, anywho, enough about that. I really do appreciate you making this far, and I hope you have a great rest of your day, or your night, or whatever time it is that you are watching this, and I will see you again next time. Goodbye.